Hi YouTube. I'm uh, posting my uh, my toyed video post and uh, just uh, yeah trying to keep this moving. Get uh, some posts up there. Trying to get over some of, some of my uh, you know speaking in front of a camera inhibitions and uh, uh, each video I want to improve at least one thing. Well, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for a three-minute video, and for every video after that, and you know, increase by a minute or so um, until I get to like a good, good healthy length, maybe 10 to 30 minutes, depending on what the videos are about. Anyways, I was just uh, uh, just rummaging through some of my old gear and uh, looking at uh, one of the cameras I, I had originally bought uh, with the intention of making um, these kinds of, uh, of web posts as well as to be able to take you know pictures etc this one's the it's the the Canon Rebel T2i it's an EOS camera and uh, it's an old kind of um, it was a breakthrough camera at the time. Now it's quite old, and um, really, uh, the this is a mirrored camera. So there's a mirror action inside, and uh, and there are uh, let's say um, new additions to a camera's line of the mirrorless cameras. So and they're and they have a different mount so, uh, for the for the um, for the lenses. So I'll either have to buy an adapter to use. Uh, uh, the, the previous lenses or just start investing in um, in new uh, and then you know new lenses and new gear and that type of thing I'm kind of looking at the uh, the m50 is uh, it's actually it's been out for a couple of years already but uh, it's a it's a camera mirrorless uh, uh, sorry it's a Canon mirrorless camera that seems to be a bit of a standard these days for uh, for uh, let's say you know uh, these kind of vlog type uh, uh, videos, and so I may very well invest in that. Um, I'll probably get an adapter for these old ones. Uh, it's an EMF to uh, an EF, and this one's a this actually this lens here is a is an EF lens. It's uh, it's one they call the Nifty 50. It's a 50 mil millimeter um, lens um, and the aperture is down to like a 1.8 which means that it does well in darkness. So um, that's kind of that's very desirable for me. I kind of like to keep things you know sort of uh, this uh, brightness level even though I know I'll have to light up the the field and uh, and make those kinds of improvements eventually but again baby steps one thing at a time um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this one but I may I just don't I hate well first of all uh, it's not a flip out lens the lens is just kinda stuck in the back and um, and uh, the flip out is just as you're as you're um, recording yourself you could at least have some kind of reference uh, I don't like that uh, th these types of cameras uh, um, let's say add a little bit to the workflow. I would have to record onto a onto a card and then pull the card out, plop it into my computer for processing. But whatever, I got to get over the laziness, um, and uh, I got to get over a little bit of the perfectionist, uh, um, let's say, tendencies that I have. And I think that these posts are actually good uh, therapy for myself. So. Uh, Regardless if they get watched, it's uh, it's good for me. It gets me thinking, and um, you know, if I give myself the 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 kind of challenge of making a one small improvement each post, and I have many posts, then that's a lot of improvement. So I think that that's uh, that's one thing to strive for. Um, I'm as you can see, I'm not doing much about the background. Uh, there's a little I have to improve the space a bit probably get rid of my uh, harpsichord I think I, I'm gonna just bring I'm just gonna sell it to a uh, harpsichord uh, repair uh, uh, shop I, I found one not not to you know in the city so I just I've never I haven't contacted them yet I just you know I'm getting over the kind of uh, sentimental value of uh, the harpsichord this uh, this harpsichord is actually um, owned by the Stratford Festival, um, 
ages ago when I was uh, studying to be a piano tech. Uh, this uh, they they had sent this in for repairs and. And I thought it was just a cool thing to, to have a harpsichord and so I just offered them and I bought it for a song basically but it's not you know it's got these kind of if you can see the plywood legs it's been used and abused in its time so so I I kind of I just inherited it after a whole lot of use the inside is is uh, quite nice and immaculate uh, the outside is, is a bit beat up and shows the use uh, I just kind of uh, ages ago kind of tried to uh, remove a bit of the scuffs actually this is the last side that I have to clean up so so I'll do that eventually anyways I'll leave you with that uh, and it looks like I'm almost six minutes so I'm doing better than I thought and uh, I guess that'll be the that'll uh, set the tone um, I'll I'll try and post uh, as often as possible, I, I see that length is not an issue as long as I have something to talk about. All right, cheers.